Hey everybody, it's Beth here, your touring vocalist and voice coach, and today we are talking about learning our intervals. The term interval means the distance between two notes. And since there are 12 notes in the chromatic scale, we are going to have 12 different intervals. Each interval has its own name and its own distinct sound. Intervals can go up or intervals can go down. For us singers, knowing the sounds of these intervals can be really useful in what we do with our daily singing. One of the ways is just learning a melody in general. As a background singer, as a session singer, I have to learn melodies really quickly. And the distance between those jumps in the melody are intervals. And if I can know the sound of those intervals, it goes really quickly. Another way that we use these intervals in our daily singing is helping us find harmony parts. Sometimes when we're singing background parts and we don't know what's that next note that comes in that harmony, it's an interval. The distance between the last note that we sang and the first note that we're going to sing in the next part, there's another use of an interval. Out of these 12 intervals, we have a few that are the most basic and the most simple, and let's do those first. Our first one is going to be the octave. It is the same note, low and high, and the distance is eight notes, hence the name octave. And the little song that goes with it so that we can remember it, the sound of this interval is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's got that octave in the beginning of the song. Our next one is the perfect fifth. This one is called that because it's five notes away. And an easily identifiable song for this one is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. There is our perfect fifth. Also, for all of you Star Wars fans, we have the theme song. Dun, 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 dun. Star Wars. Next, we have the perfect fourth. This one is four notes away. And a very common song is Here Comes the Bride. Here comes the bride. So if you're trying to think of that interval, that distance away, that fourth, uh, you sing to yourself, Here Comes the Bride. And that's the perfect way to find the distance of a fourth. From this point on, we're going to run through all of the intervals in their order. So we are starting with the smallest one, which is the smallest distance. This is our minor second, or we also call it a half step. Here's the sound. And it is most commonly recognized as the theme to the movie Jaws. But if we take a song where it's widely recognized, uh, Stevie Wonder's Isn't She Lovely. Isn't she lovely? Same interval, it's a minor second. Our next one is the major second. And this one is so easily identified because it is happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, that is your major second. Or do, re, mi, fa, so. Uh, it is the first and second note of the major scale. Our next one is the minor third going up. And this one is identifiable by simply knowing what your minor triad sounds like. 
that's our minor third. Or if we want to think of a song that works, uh, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through. A little bit of uh, Ray Charles. The next one is our major third. This one is in our major triad. Or if we want a song, the Beatles, Can't Buy Me Love, Can't Buy. There is our major third interval. This next one they call the creepiest of all of the intervals, and it is called the tritone. It does sound kind of creepy. Uh, this one is the most recognizable in the Simpsons theme. The Simpsons. This next one is the minor sixth. An easy way to identify this interval is Sia's titanium. I am titanium. Then our next one is the major sixth. And this one is so recognizable from the NBC tone. So anytime we need to think of a major sixth, we just go right to that NBC jingle. Our next one is the minor seven. This one has a couple of songs that will help to remember the sound of this one. One is ABBA's song, Winner Takes It All. The winner takes it all. Or somewhere from West Side Story, there's a place for us. Those are both songs that help you with the minor seven. Our largest and farthest distance is the major seven. And this one can be heard if you simply play the notes in the major seven chord. That's your interval right there. One of the most identifiable songs is Nora Jones' Don't Know Why. I waited till I saw the sun. That's your major seven interval. Now we're going to run through all of the intervals, but going in the down direction. And our first interval, keeping with the simple ones, is going to be our perfect fifth down. The song that helps us with this is the classic cartoon, Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. There's your perfect fifth down. Our next one, traveling down, is the perfect fourth. And this one is easily identifiable by the classic Christmas carol. Oh, come, all ye faithful. There is our perfect fourth down. And then, of course, we have our octave down, still the same note, both high and low. I don't really have a specific song that goes with it, but we know the sound is the same, high and low. It's fairly easy to find. Or go opposite from your somewhere, somewhere. Still traveling in the down direction, we're going to do our minor second or half step down. And this is easily identifiable by uh, the classical piece for Elise. There's your half step there. Or sometimes it's uh, easier to hear it just as your major scale down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti. There's your minor second down. Our major second down is very simply identified by uh, Mary had a little lamb, Mary. That's your major second down. We have our minor third down. 
this one, we can use the song by the Beatles, Hey Jude. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Our minor third. We have our tritone, ooh, creepy one. This one, uh, even flow, is a great example. Feeling. That's our tritone down. We have our major third down. And this one is summertime, Porgy and Bess. Summertime and the living is easy. We have our minor sixth down, which is Carly Rae Jepsen, Call Me Maybe. Hey, I just met you. Minor sixth down. Our major sixth down can be Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. I'm talking with the man in the mirror. We come to the interval of the minor seven. And I can't think of one, and I couldn't find one. If you run the minor chord, it's your one and your seven. So if anyone has one, go ahead and put it down in the comments, and I will gladly rework the video to put it in there. Our last one is the major seven interval. Another one with a very strange sound. Again, no song to help identify it, so the easiest way to do it is take your octave down, which is easy to find, and bring that top down a half step. And that gives you the major seven interval down. Now that we have covered all of our intervals, both up and down, let's take a moment and practice them together so you can get better at them. All right, here we go. Our first one is going to be an octave up. I will play the first note. You go ahead and try to find that octave up. Here's your first note. If you guessed this, you are correct. Your octave up. Next is going to be our minor second. I'll play the first note and you try to guess that distance of the minor second up. Here we go. If you guessed this, you are correct. Let's go ahead and try to find our major second. Give you the first note. If you guessed, you've got it right. That's your major second. Let's try to find the minor third. If you found this, you are correct. That's your minor third. Let's go for the major third from here. If you've got this, you are correct. That's your major third. Let's try for the perfect fourth from here. If you've got this, you've got your perfect fourth. Here's your perfect fifth. If you've got this, you have the perfect fifth. Let's try for the tritone. If you've got this, that is your tritone. 
Let's try for the minor sixth. If you've got this, you have your minor sixth. Let's try for the major sixth. There's your major sixth. Trying for the minor seven. If you got that, you got your minor seven. Let's try for the major seven. got that, you nailed your major seven. There are our 12 intervals traveling up. Let's practice our intervals traveling down. Largest one first. Let's get an octave from here. That's our octave down. Let's go for our minor second down. There's our minor second. Let's try for our major second down. second down. Let's go for our minor third down. That's our minor third down. Let's try for the major third down. There's our major third down. Let's try for the perfect fourth down. Let's go for the perfect fifth down. Let's shoot for the tritone down. There is our tritone down. Let's try the minor sixth down. Let's try for your major sixth down. Ready to try your minor seven down? And then we have our major seven down. Thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you learned a little more about your intervals today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep singing everybody.